In this video, we're gonna talk about food that stops you from losing weight, even if you're really trying. Let's jump right into it. The first reason that stops you from losing weight is that you're starting your day with the wrong food, such as, for example, croissant, white bread, butter, confiture, pancakes. So basically any carbs that uh, have a really high glycemic load because this kind of food slows down your metabolism and you burn less fat. Well, by the way, with carbs that are slow, you actually burn more fat while doing nothing. So next time you are choosing your breakfast, remember that it's not about the calories actually, it's more about how do you start your day? Are you starting your day with something that's gonna spike your sugar or are you starting your day with some slow carbs? For example, if you really like sweet, then oatmeal with berries, fruits, nuts, seeds, but baked without added sugar, uh, baked, I mean cooked without added sugar and with plant milk. Or if you like something savory, then how about like a breakfast burrito or maybe a tofu scramble with some beans. And so next time you wanna order a croissant, uh, think that it shouldn't be your first thing that you eat in a day. The order is really important here. And reason number two why you're not losing weight is that you are buying and eating processed food that you think is healthy. Packaged food often have labels on them like high in fiber, low in fat, vegan, and it make us, makes us believe that it is healthy for us. But low fat foods often, um, not low fat foods, but low fat packaged foods often have added sugar in them. And added sugar makes you actually eat 77, up to 77% more food. There was a study they made on children where they gave them um, cornflakes which had the same calorie um, content and they told them you can eat as much cornflakes as you want but one group of kids got cornflakes with added sugar and another one without added sugar. The, the kids that ate uh, cornflakes with added sugar they ate 77% more cornflakes. So look at the packaging of the food but it's not only added sugar that you should look out for but also added fats. For example in vegan uh, cheeses often they add palm oil which is the saturated fat uh, in plant form. Um, most plants don't have saturated fat, but there are some exceptions. And because of saturated fat, you will lose less weight. People who uh, eat processed food uh, tend to be less active, 15% less active, so you will actually, uh, again, reduce your metabolic rate and you will burn less calories during the day. Reason number three why you are not losing weight is that you are adding too much oil when you're cooking. Olive oil is the most calorically dense food. If you are constantly adding olive oil to your food that you cook, then you are over consuming in calories. Cutting oil out of your diet when you cook is a very effective way to lose weight really fast because you do not have to do calorie control and you do not have to do portion control. You can just eat the same volume of food and still lose weight. There has been studies that show that effect on individuals that uh, come to a buffet and eat as much as they want. And basically one group gets a buffet of exactly the same food, food as the other group, exactly the same recipes, just these recipes were cooked without added oil and others with added oil and guess which group lost weight. So, and do not worry, you will still get enough of healthy fats. Not only we get it enough in when we go out and eat uh, in restaurants, but also you can get it through eating nuts and seeds and avocados. So don't worry about not getting enough healthy fat. But you can really speed up your weight loss if you start cooking without adding olive oil. Then the reason number four why you are still not losing weight while really trying is the liquid calories that you consume. And I'm not only talking about sodas and juices and uh, sugary drinks, but uh, another liquid calorie that people tend to ignore when they wanna lose weight is alcohol. And I know, I know, I know you don't wanna hear this, but if you're really serious about losing weight, you probably should cut down, cut down on these uh, gin tonics that you're ordering on Fridays. I know how difficult it is to uh, quit drinking alcohol 
because it's so socially accepted everywhere and you might feel rejected from your group and so on and so on. But I'm not here to sugarcoat it to you. If you're serious about losing weight, the first one of the first things you need to look at is alcohol. And if you remove alcohol from your diet and remove oil, just by doing that, uh, you will speed up the process dramatically. And finally, the last reason, this is where we come to this banana finally, is that you are not eating enough fruit. So it's quite common knowledge that you need to remove sugar from your diet when you want to lose weight. And we talked about this in this video as well. So while this is true, many also remove fruits because naturally you think, okay, fruits have sugar in them, so I will stop eating that too. And I thought this too, in the past until I stumbled upon this research where the study subjects were both, like the both groups were put on a weight loss diet. Both groups were told to remove sugar from their diet, but one group continued to eat fruits and the other group removed the fruits as well. And it's quite insane, but the group of people that continue to eat fruits they actually lost more weight. And it's a really strange thing because it's really hard to explain because fruits are very caloric. Nevertheless, there's something else about fruits um, that our body needs. And we can make a whole video about this topic uh, separately and probably that's what I'm gonna do. But we're not gonna go into details, but just check all the studies in the link below and you will see for yourself. It's quite uh, surprising. So don't be afraid to eat fruits. If you really uh, cutting down all the other sugars from your diet, you need to have some kind of sugar to compensate the uh, lack of added sugar. So you can just eat bananas and grapes and melons and, and so on. So uh, while I'm eating this banana, I suggest um, you go down in the description box, check out the links where I point to all the studies and um, don't forget to like this video. Yes, I know I eat bananas like this. I cut them in half and not like I break them like this. I like to eat it like this and don't judge me. Yeah, well, you can judge me. You can judge me with a like or a dislike button. Yeah, there's some other videos I'm gonna link that you can watch um, about high glycemic food and some other things like why not all calories are equal and Eat a, eat a banana while eating, while watching them. See you in the next video.